pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands. Can you guys hear me at all? Yeah, we can hear you, Jack. Oh, I wasn't hearing you. I was having some difficulty. Okay. Uh, Jay Toolin, 39 Timberline Drive. I'm guessing you probably know that by now. Anyway, just two real quick things. And I don't know if I'm jumping the gun, but first of all, I'm very pleased that TPZ accepted the application uh, for the site plan. I'm looking forward to the public hearing on the 21st. And the other thing is, and some of you or all of you might be aware, just giving a mention that I'm particularly interested in how TSKP's progress is with the Institute for Human Centered Design. Um, I am in touch with Valerie Fletcher. I, I'm aware that they've provided a number of suggestions and I just would be very interested on the progress with uh, how those suggestions are going. Um, I know that's a little premature, but those are just my two thoughts for today. Appreciate the opportunity to talk. Thank you. Thank you. Any additional public comment? So we're all set. Okay. We'll move on to item D, which is minutes. Um, just before I uh, open this up for a motion, I just need to make sure that our two members that are our virtual voting members that are on live virtually, we are going to need you to make sure that we hear you loud and clear during the vote. But that's for forum. So uh, could I get a motion to approve the attached under 16 2022 minutes? So moved. Second. Any discussion? All right, all in favor? Aye. Aye. All right, unanimously approved. Uh, item B, which is correspondence received between 2-14-2022 and 2-28-2022. We did not receive any. We take the opportunity to remind everyone to please use the comment form on our website. If there are questions, concerns, comments, or thoughts you would like to share with the zoning committee, it's always available to you if you're unable to, to join us for public comment or virtually for public comment. So we'll move right into reports. Um, first is chair report. I have nothing specific to add at this point. We're obviously going to have some conversation a few things as we move through additional reports. So we're going to move right into number two, Town Council Liaison Report. So, John? Uh, not much today, just uh, we're continuing the dialogue with the 1928 Pac-Hawk Committee. We have a uh, meeting, I don't remember when, I think <laughs> next, next, next Thursday. Next Thursday. <laughs> uh, but we solidified the timeline, but we're getting close to making an actual uh, recommendation to Town Council as far as what direction this Committee is. Any questions? Or around that. Okay. All right. We're going to move right on to Board of Education liaison report. Beth, unfortunately, Beth can't be with us tonight, but Sarah, anything that we need to hear about? No, nothing to report today. Excellent. Thank you so much. So we'll move right on to owner's representative report. All right. So um, real quick, pretty much uh, same as uh, the last uh, meeting that we had together, we're working on contracts. Um, we are just about done wrapping up with ONG. Uh, we have um, our, had our kickoffs with uh, DCT, which is our third party professional engineer review. 
we've got uh, their contracts. They uh, mentioned their comments back to us. IES, uh, we had a kickoff with them, uh, which is our new commissioning agent, um, Innovative Engineering Solutions. And so uh, they're getting their contracts back to us and uh, I'll be working with professional partner uh, partnership uh, committee to work on the code, third party code review, RFQ, and the structural threshold peer review, which we'll talk about uh, a little bit more in detail. Uh, working on cash flows and budgets, and um, Laurel reminded me that uh, we've got to schedule some meetings with uh, with the OCGR, so I'm going to hop on that uh, this week. That's it. Any questions for Mark? Right on to architect report. Richard, you want to start? Yes, good evening, everyone. It's nice to see everyone's face um, as opposed to their mask. That's a changing world, changing indeed. So, uh, this evening, we're delivering the design development documents, plans, and specs uh, to you. Uh, Michael and I brought this little black wagon, and this contains three volumes of drawings and three volumes of specifications. It represents one set. So just to put this in perspective, when we delivered the enhanced schematic design, we had 79 drawings. Today, we're delivering 489 drawings. And these documents are co-authored by us and all of the consultants that were retained through us, including the structural engineer, uh, the civil engineer, the landscape architect, the mechanical electrical plumbing engineers, the acoustics consultant, the theater consultant, the food service consultant have all participated in creating these documents. And for those of you who are familiar with looking at construction drawings, you know that the, the convention is to divide them into different disciplines. And so you'll see uh, drawings that are prefaced with the letter A representing architectural drawings. Um, drawings that are prefaced with C or civil engineering drawings and so on. You'll see a table of contents on the cover tied for you um, in reading the documents. These are what we call a full size set. These are the traditional set of drawings that uh, contractors uh, have in the trailer. Uh, we also can produce half size sets should, should anyone want a, a, a paper copy. Uh, we did issue PDF versions of these same documents. They were issued Monday, uh, Friday, Friday, last Friday, the 25th. So um, you can print whatever sections you want from those. Uh, but this is a major milestone in the development of the design. We still have several months to go as we develop the construction documents uh, phase. Is this number of Drawing is going to double? No. no, because it represents every discipline, uh, except we don't have documents yet from the abatement consultant. That's, uh, so that will be incorporated into the next phase of work. Uh, we also submitted the planning and zoning documents as you heard Jay to the report. Those were uh, delivered to the town, there were a total of 46 drawings plus two reports. There was a traffic report that was done by our traffic consultant, SLR, and there was also a storm water management report that was also done by SLR. Those are typically reviewed by the Planning and Zoning Commission. They will refer them to other uh, agencies in town. Uh, we, will, we have a public hearing or presentation and a public hearing at Planning and Zoning on the 21st, March 21st. Uh, we expect that Planning and Zoning may continue the public hearing to the subsequent meeting, or they may close it. I don't know. It depends upon how many questions they have. It depends on how many questions they get to the public. Um, I don't think the Planning and Zoning Commission will act on the application on the night of the 21st. It may get deferred to the subsequent meeting Perhaps they will act in April. I hope they will act. Uh, and that's a key ingredient. When we go to OSC and GNR, they will want to see that we have gotten planning and zoning approval. I want to uh, 
address the question that was brought up by Jay. Uh, yes, our interaction with the uh, Institute for Human Centered Design has been very good. They issued uh, quite a number of comments. We will send to the committee those responses to those comments in, in advance of the next meeting so that you have an opportunity to review that. I expect that when we meet with planning and zoning, we will touch upon some of those comments and responses and highlight them on the set of drawings that we submitted to planning and zoning. Because you may recall, um, uh, those design criteria are part of the planning and zoning regulations. They were an amendment to the planning and zoning regulations. So we want to make sure that we address them in a public forum. Um, and we are preparing for the design review meeting with the OSC GNR. I believe that's to be scheduled according to your schedule, um, OG schedule on April 6th, but somewhere that's day, okay. somewhere around that day. So that will be our next major milestone. Uh, anything else? So the enabling phase uh, is going to be discussed at planning and zoning. Uh, that's the temporary parking lot that you authorized us to do, as well as the location of the construction fence. Um, so that's all going to be part of the PNC. The schedule shows us starting document, real documentation of that now because on the heels of the DDR with OSCGR, we will have a, a plan completion review for the early package. And that needs to be scheduled as well, mm -hmm. on or about, <laughs> on or about April 7th. It's, it's, it's better if we do the DDR first. Yeah, it's better optics. DDR first, PCR second. Morning or after. <laughs> Whatever you can get it would be great. First one in the morning, next one in the afternoon. Back to back, double header. Does um, that include the biographies? Yes. So that was something that we cleared with OCGNR previously. Um, this represents both projects the uh, main high school building as well as the 900 wing, which is central office and uh, locker area. So you'll see on the cover, uh, it, the project is identified as Farm High School and Central Office for <laughs> uh, And it, the cover also shows both project numbers, the state designated different state project numbers for each of these buildings. So yes, it's all in the so same So as one set or do you want as one bid? That's the intention. Right. The, the, bid the intention form. is definitely to go out one bid. However, we will need to break it out on the bid form so that they're priced separately because they're two separate projects. So they will be bid together. One side of document. Contractors will have will be providing prices on both. Yep. The state wants to track the costs. Right. Separately. So and it's like Catholic school: three columns, one bid. <laughs> <laughs> I just thought it was going to be less confusing, but yeah. it's not going to be less confusing. No, it will be, we hope, right? And everything's going to be plain as day as what central office wants yeah. everything else. Yeah. And we, we did delineate very carefully, you'll see on the 900 wing uh, plans, uh, a demising line, a line that says this part belongs to uh, high school this part belongs to the central office, right? And if if you're looking for it, it's now called Area F, by the way. It's not called 900 wing because uh, wings 100 through 800 are going away, so. Right, so in fact, that's a good point. So again, if you look at the drawings, the plans, you'll see that we divided the project into area A, B, C, D, E, and then F is the 900. It's all very sensible. <laughs> I think I would just like to add on the enabling plan. We've had some conversations around um, approvals of that. It was, in fact, approved through consensus at our last uh, building committee meeting for, for all, um, all parties to go forward. Yep. Yeah. Just wanted to add. 
One more thing I'd like to mention at the next uh, building committee meeting, we would like to have a presentation. We, we've done a lot more presentation material, uh, perspective drawings, interiors, color palettes, and so that you can get a better sense. These drawings are interesting, but they're not as uh, descriptive, descriptive for your benefit and for the public's benefit. So we would like to do that at a follow up uh, committee meeting whenever that is scheduled. Yeah, we're actually going to discuss the next 16 feet and we'll have to look at that one. Okay. Is that okay? Right. Okay with me. Okay. From a time perspective, it doesn't fall like a necessarily time set. Uh, no. Okay. Right. Any other questions? I know. I know Scott's on, but are we scheduled for the faculty? So we would like to do that. Uh, immediately after we do the presentation to the committee, because then we can show the same material to faculty. I think faculty will be much more interested in seeing uh, renderings and presentation material, floor plans, and so on, rather than these drawings. But we want to make sure the committee sees that first, and if the committee has any comments, try to incorporate those comments before we present them to faculty. So, so our next meeting would be March 30th. Third, March 30th. That would work. Yeah. So okay. we could have a faculty meeting at their first meeting in April. Okay. It's scheduled for April 5th right now, so that would be great. Yeah, that would work. Perfect. Okay. Great. Thank you. And the color palette, you're talking about the interiors? Right. So, well, both. I mean, both. We, we will have uh, renderings that show you our vision of what kinds of exterior materials where are in these specs what the colors are knowing that this is still design development the actual selection of brick will be specified during the construction documents and um, then we'll actually get samples of bricks for the building committee to see before they're actually uh, built we also will specify that a sample wall be built so that you can see it in reality on the site uh, but this, the presentation that we will show you is just our view of it as of right now. I, I you know, if we could um, maybe in a working group or something, uh, preview. There are just the fit was a big deal for us when it came to like whether it's interiors or exteriors. So, you know, it might be a good thing to just sure we could take do a look. We can right. do that. Um, we'll move right on to the manager report. Okay, so yes, we have received from Kaisu Kim all the documents. So our estimating department is starting their um, estimate, and we're doing our own internal review of the documents. So we also do like a constructability type of review on the documents. So that has started. And then I have, if you can pull up the pre con schedule, I kind of walk everybody through the schedule. And this one I have yellow as a highlight as kind of a look ahead. And I don't think you can kind of zoom in. So just focusing on where we are for this next month, upcoming month. Um, the CM contract approval still is getting kicked down the road. So now I put it in for like maybe the 16th, who knows? I just put something in there, but it's still green, so all's good. Um, we have a couple of contracts that Mark had already reported that he's working on, the code and the structural threshold peer reviews. None of those are critical to our schedule. They're just professionals that need to be brought on board for the project. Um, skipping down to the next page um, where we get to design development, uh, you're going to see that we are, that first one is a DD estimate. So that's what we have started. That's an ONG uh, internal activity we also have the commissioning agent that you have hired for to work on the project will be also reviewing these documents and providing feedback to the team um, and there's also this high performance review um, that needs to get done as well and that's a that's a team it, it's just to meet the state's requirements for the project um, so construction documents are progressing as Ty Tyson Kim has mentioned for both phases the, the site enabling work as well as the phase two work 
Um, you'll see that we have a phase one cost estimate that's coming up. So at some point we're going to ask for a, an updated plan and we're gonna put a cost to that because we have some critical activities that we're gonna need the building committee and board of ed to be taking action on. So that's coming up in about a month. Um, you'll see the, the mentioning of the DDR meeting, the PCR meeting. These are, there's gonna be a whole bunch of forms and letters you're gonna to have to sign um, when we go up there. There's gonna be a cost estimate and the, and the bid documents for this phase one enabling package will be in front of you guys to approve. So you need to do that in conjunction with the board of ed. I don't know if you, you want to go first and then board of ed, but either way, you both have to act and sign sign documentation before we go to the state. And right now, the target date is the 7th. So whether it's March 30th, we do have a March 30th date. And then I don't know when the board of ed falls after that. Um, however you guys want to work it, but you're going to need signatures. And is there anything any well, in between that work in between once we approve it? You've got to go. No, no I just, just want to make sure you're going to have to vote. You're going to need to approve the documents yeah. and the estimate. You have to do an estimate and they prepare documents. So, and you'll need to do this again for the next phase for home construction as well. And, so, and every town is different who acts first, whether they want the building committee, then the board of it, or you guys sometimes do a joint meeting, however you want to do it. I just need you done by the six. <laughs> <laughs> Don't care how you do it. <laughs> Morning or afternoon. <laughs> <laughs> we'll just have to look at schedules and make sure you know when you're yeah because we have April vacation. Um, I I think we only have one meeting in April of course because we also have budget yeah during that time and then our next meeting is March twenty first. So we won't be ready probably the twenty first. Yeah, can yeah. you have a special meeting on the 30th? The... So they're saying we need to have that hold on vote done by the 7th. Right. Like well, I said by the 6th, right? I don't know that. You go to the state. Yeah. As long as there's no. Right. Yeah, it's good. But why? We approve at our March 30th meeting. <laughs> she would have to do a special activity. Yeah, I have to do a special activity. No, we're talking about the phase yeah. one enabling yes. package. Oh, so you need document, you need the bid documents, yeah. and you need the estimate. Yeah. And then oh, wait, I have to have a meeting. Yeah, we're going to have a meeting. It's the only meeting. Oh, perfect. So it's not to be expensive. Yeah. All right, so I missed it. Do we have to update the ad plan as well? That was my question, but I don't think it's cool yet. Yeah. Yeah. Usually it's two readings, so two meetings. Okay. So I think if we get through the construction documents, right? We're not going to Well, the construction documents for the early enabling package are due soon. That's true. So um, we need to. We yes. expect us to affect that. No, so, it should, because it's all. It no, it has no impact on that spec. Okay. None. So all it is is some preliminary site work does not affect the program at all. Okay. Um, and that set of documents, which I guess we're calling phase one, mm -hmm. right? It has to be a phase one to the OSC GNR. There, correct. One. So on that package, it has to be the same project numbers, phase one, right. one of three, I guess. Right. Um, so. We need to we need to coordinate internally about the phasing letter mm -hmm. as well as um, what the, you're going to do with the front end to the spec. We'll yes, do, we'll do the technical part. Yep. As now, well as I would challenge that the central office is even involved with this. I'm wondering if it's just a high school project because it's all for the high school. Well, right. Well, so we're now we're doing the coordination here live. Oh, but we yeah. should, <laughs> we should, we should probably saying. do it in a working. Group yeah, amongst yeah, ourselves yeah. because I, I would prefer to keep the same title on okay. the on the drawings and call it phase one for mm -hmm. both. Yeah. Uh, and then it's up to you to split the costs. Okay, but just so you know, CGR wants twice of everything. Right? Two S two project numbers. Just so we're aware. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so, so anyhow, my minor detail. All right, you guys settle on a date? Right. What, what is the time? Before? It's when the board of ed 
would do the review, we're going to do it on March 30th. Okay, so March 30th is going to be building committee. Yeah, and then yeah. 30th, and then April 4th is going to be board of it. Perfect. Okay, that's good. All right, so walking down some more. All right, so those are the OSC and our meetings coming up and through that process. Um, next thing that's bright and bold is um, flood management certification. I think this is being worked on according to SLR. I think they've started that. Right. We have time. Um, but I do want to warn you about the OSTA. We have an OSTA review that is um, it's one of the items that you will need to get through the state process. So it's all one of those things that's a checklist. And the problem is that the industry is experiencing a huge backlog with the OSTA getting stuff out of their office. But this is the Office of traffic, State, state traffic, traffic Authority, Authority, something like that. So it's a state agency. Many jobs are like buried in their agency just because there's a, such a backlog. It's just an activity that we need to keep an eye on right now. It's I'm just shooting up a red flag that this needs to be closely to make sure that we get through the OSTA process. Um, OSC GNR will allow us to go out, but we won't be able to award a contract. Well, you can't award contract until we have their approval and right now the end of my the end of that activity is lining right up with needing to award our critical phase two contractors so there's not much wiggle room there and just letting everybody know that something we're going to keep an eye on but we don't think that will be the case for the enabling we don't think that'll be the case for the enabling which we will find out as soon as we go up there sure if they're gonna they don't usually hold up for that yeah. but that they will hold up phase two is that something that the town council should be looking at talking to our reps about making sure that you know that they're not getting it's not getting stuck? Maybe not yet, because I know that you know Russ and Dave Sullivan and all that are behind the scenes working on this as well. So maybe not yet, but maybe two or three weeks if you know things aren't moving along. So what just so I understand it's like a queue, like we just got what we just went to the bottom and came back with Bob Wars. Yeah, it's one of those. And the thing okay. is there's there's like all these things like OSA won't ask until planning and zoning approves it. Yeah, you can't apply to them until you've yeah. applied to planning and zoning. It's it's like a chicken and egg type of thing. So they won't act until zoning approves or acts, whatever that is, and then the clock ticks and then the clock starts, and that's when you wind up in the queue. You're not even in the queue yet. Okay, so and so we get, get lost at DEP, okay. and that same same problem. You get lost in the agency, okay. and just make you know industry wide, everybody's been experiencing it. Just a backlog of stuff, you know. So we, we do it's it's not in our control right now. You know, it's not like anybody can do anything. And Dave, David noted that it's probably six month process if it's you know, passed through sort of approval. Be the case, and if that's it does, it does be right up on for that September timeline. Well, if it's not until planning and zoning accepts it, you're in the next meeting. There's probably not that night, so you're talking about a couple of months before we even have that, or at least a month. So, right. Right. Well, it's really That's important right. to stay on top of it. We were doing the math, and then I would expect that we'll send out that they'll send uh, to the state the next couple of weeks, right? It was mid March that they That's expected right. to. Send something, send the application to the state, yeah. and then it'll sit there until PNC approves it, acts, right? right? And then they act. So, when so PNC acts in April, that's when they'll start their review at the state level. In, in April, May, July, August, September. I mean, we're, we're yeah, right against it. Yeah, we're right yeah. against it. So, I wouldn't fret yet, but just know that it's on my watch list. Um, Okay, and then we're also in the town plan zone and plan approval process, and that's about it with upcoming activities over the next month. So, Laura, where does he fit in from the, our next VE evaluation? Um, at your next, at your March 30th meeting? Yeah, it should be fully ready. Uh, Let's see, hold on. When am I done with the estimate? So, so, just to remind everybody what the process is we take three weeks to do our Design development estimate, which we just started this week. 
uh, which means our estimate will be done March 21st. And then we get together with Kaiser Kim's estimator, we reconcile and make sure we're both looking at the same project. So by the 30th, we should be able to report to you where we see the project overall. Okay. And meaning at that point, we would have already, that's what you would like us to go through that now that I'm here and have to trust at that point. Well, yeah, I, I know we will, but it'll identify what I think by that meeting you'll be able to identify what we're looking for. Yeah, what, what, what yeah. we're looking at, and we may have some ideas as well as how we get back, right. back on track. So, yeah, but we, we should look at this with the working group because so far on the 30th already we have renderings, we have phase one, sure. enabling and approval, and now yeah. I, it's a lot to, it's a big rabbit to swallow all at once. Yeah. I, I, I guess what I'm saying is I don't think that by the 30th we'll have a PE list to present to the building committee no. to report on. No, but we should. But know I think that was what your question. That's kind of what. So I want yeah. to make sure we're scheduling from our perspective right. to make sure we get our working group. The working group would we'll probably know that might be a couple of sessions. Yeah. Yes. To make sure we're clear on that so that we're following the same process we did last time. We have we have a pretty we have a very clear understanding of what we're coming here. On um, what's being presented as a as options, right. so I think just making sure we're very tight on that schedule is going to be helpful, and then we can make sure we're lined up. And yeah, so the right might be like any sort of action about it at all on the thirtieth. Uh, yeah. Okay. All right. Yeah, so so just, your next meeting, your first meeting in April, would be more to the second week of April, right? So that's where we have to think about. We're not going to do. I don't think we would have. Yeah. Back, back meeting. No, our next our meeting in April would be April 13th. I believe that's the date. So, which I'm sure that. April 13th. Yeah. 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 So, we don't have to necessarily hammer it out right now as far as dates, but we, we, let's figure out just making sure. Do we have to get a different we have schedule? Do yeah. we have to add something? We'll, we'll do whatever we need to to get um, you know, us in the room. To make sure we go through that exercise in a timely fashion. So just got to back that up and get that time right. So, will be scheduled for the working group? No, it would be working group is like in between. Okay. Opposite of this meeting. Yeah, one before we should have one at 9 30. Let's go over the one that works for the next meeting. You don't think you're ready to leave the board? So, the 21st. So, we can uh, reconcile it. So well, why don't we just kind of make sure yeah. we have all those points lined up yeah. from a from a schedule perspective? Yeah. Just like I said, we're running into vacations and other you know vacation yeah. so yeah. I hate to have a CS yeah. miss yeah. an opportunity to do something we can do. Yeah. 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 Steps that work. Steps would work as well. Yeah. <laughs> that's it. That's all I have for schedule. We're still on schedule. That was a lot. That's a very robust. Any other questions or thoughts? More on that piece. So we'll both we'll kind of maybe at uh, our next meeting we'll have a kind of a lineup of all those dates, making sure everybody's clear on what's happening when. <coughs> Anything else? Anything else from as far as you guys? Any other updates? No. Mark is good. All right, so I'm going to go through the next couple pretty quickly. The next item is communication subcommittee report. We actually canceled our subcommittee meeting prior to this one this week. Um, we gave a pretty um, thorough report out last week on kind of the, our planning. So I was helping us with planning and scheduling for newsletter, trying to do think about scheduling that touch base with the community um, via Zoom. Maybe not even now. I don't know. We'll have to talk about yeah, that's in person. person. We might be able to do it in person. Maybe it would be great. Um, so we're all that stuff we're, we're trying to line up um, as far as communication is concerned. But we're moving forward on all that. Um, next up, or any questions on communication? All right. Uh, professional partnership subcommittee report. Uh, um, so the professional partnership. We met this week um, and they reviewed and approved the RFQs and RFQ rating forms that you have in your agenda packet tonight. Um, that's for the code review. Again, it's our typical process where we um, 
have the RFQs and the RFQ rating forms reviewed by the Professional Partnership Committee. They approve it. It comes to the committee for full approval, and then we go through our process, which is to advertise, have it out, collect the responses, grade the responses, and then shortlist um, to those that we would then issue a few proposal RFP for. Um, so it's going to be the same process. You will see when we get to it, um, there are a few things that we just need to fill in, which is dates, timing, some of those uh, remaining factors. Uh, we typically have been attaching the contract so that people see up front, this is our expectations, um, and we go from there. But uh, the professional partnership didn't really have any issues or major modifications to the RFQs that were in there or the RFQ rating form. It's, it's standard procedure. So looking to get those out in the field probably by the end of this week. Um, Holding, we just need to have our attorney take one more look at it and then and then it's good to get posted. So code review and structural. Yes. Yes. Oh yes. I only said code review, but structural as well. Any more questions on that? That was obviously an example of a timeline too. We're managing all those at a huge time constraint around any of those items, but certainly managing. Okay. Uh, all right, nothing else on professional partnership. We'll move right to our last report, which is the financial report. Financial, um, no new expenditures in our committee account, so there's no update to our previous financial report. Um, in front of you, you do have our invoice tracking document, which has the added invoices that are set for approval at tonight's meeting. Uh, so we'll move right off uh, reports into IDG, which is new business. Uh, so our first order of business in new business is uh, present a motion to approve the file, the, the invoice of the city of West package presented uh, in our agenda, um, which is inclusive of four invoices from both CSG and TSAP. Let me get a motion to do so. So moved. Second. Any discussion? Right, all in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? All right. Motion okay, approved. <laughs> <laughs> I'm saying in the dark view of that, so. Yeah, it's kind of dark. Second. Did anything happen? Yeah. Give us a second. There we go. All right, so we'll move right on to uh, the next for <coughs> business is G2. Uh, so can I get a motion to approve the attached draft code review RFQ? So second. All right, I will open it up for discussion. Uh, just as a reminder, um, that did give the update uh, that these were all uh, reviewed during the professional partnership subcommittee meeting, um, evaluated. This was obviously uh, with CSG's guidance as well, on helping us draft these. We did a review uh, not only of the RQs and then you see we have additional uh, approvals around the, uh, the uh, Rating forms as well, so both were um, evaluated during that meeting and then now are being brought forward to the entire committee uh, for review and approval as well. So um, just want to make sure, see if anybody has any questions, thoughts, comments, or concerns based on the, uh, the code review RFQ. All right, we'll go ahead and vote. All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? All right. And G2 approved. We will move right on to G3. So that motion is to get the draft rating form. Let's go review RFQ. So moved. Second. I will open.
open it up for discussion just to comment on any time we put a, uh, put a, a uh, rating form in front of the committee uh, for review. Just know that's in full co coordination with the um, actual RFQ. So you'll see those two things match back to each other to make sure that we're rating what we're asking for. So just making sure, just reminding everybody of the process and how we, how we do this moving forward. But any questions, thoughts, comments on the review, the code review, or no, I'm sorry, rating form for the code review. Right, yeah. Any other questions? All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? I need to be approved. Before, uh, so can I get a motion to approve the attempt draft structural peer review RFQ? Move. Second. Discussion? All right, all in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Item G4 approved. And can I get a motion to approve the test draft rating form for the structural curve key part? So moved. Second. Discussion. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? All right, G5 approved. And I believe that's everything that you need, Pat, right? To move forward, you know, all yeah, that. Exactly. I'll fill in the um, timeline that's been highlighted in both of these RFQs. Um, I'll let the committee know when it is issued and when it's expected to be delivered to us, um, because that's when you guys are assigned your homework, which is to review the proposals, to grade them, um, and then we go through that whole process. So I'll keep everybody up to date so you're, you know when it's coming. All right, so we're going to move right on to uh, last order in new business, that's item G6. Uh, so, can I get a motion to cancel the March 16, 2022 FHS building meeting? So moved. Second. Okay. We'll open it up for discussion. Um, I didn't hear anything today. I just want to confirm with our professional partners. We didn't, we were trying to make sure we had content and understood next steps, but I just want to make sure everybody's okay from a timing perspective, schedule perspective, that this isn't. Of concern to anybody that we need to move this from the calendar. All done there? Excellent. Okay. And as I said, we'll have more information on kind of that follow up schedule and what that's going to look like. We're sure we need to add meetings if we can do that based on time. Great. Right? All right. So that is discussion. So um, all in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Yeah. All right, approved. Item G6. So we will go ahead and cancel the March 16, 2022 building committee meeting. So our last order of business is adjournment. I please have a motion to adjourn. So moved. Second. Any discussion? All right, all in favor? Aye. Aye. Right, we will adjourn at 5.49. Where would you like to place